In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the secure FTP task within Task Factory uh, from Pragmatic Works. Uh, after you've installed Task Factory, you'll have the secure FTP task in your toolbox. You're just going to drag one over. Uh, you can see what I have one here on the screen already. And uh, let's double click and open it up. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to select what this task is going to do. And I'm going to go over each one of these um, and, and explain how that changes the settings down here. And let's go with uh, upload file to server first. Um, everything is the same uh, here with stop failure, uh, package on failure. What this says is that if something happens during the upload, the download, whatever your action you're taking, uh, go ahead and stop the package on failure. Otherwise, what will happen is you can just say ignore the failure because it's not pertinent to whether this is a success or not in this, in this package. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, the next thing you need to do, because we're uploading a file to the server, is we're going to select where is our local file coming from. Now you have two options here. You can select a local connection manager, or you can select a variable where that path is stored. So let's say, for instance, that you have some sort of loop going here, and you're going through a directory of files, um, uh, and only uploading certain ones. Whatever you're doing, you can um, just set that variable, and then you can use that local variable to uh, upload it to the server. In this case, I already have a file here. Um, actually, let me uh, let me create a new one here, just to show you what we can do. Okay, I'm going to go browse for one. Okay, so we have CSSIs here. I'm just going to take uh, something really small here. We'll take uh, yeah, invalid output. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to upload the invalid output out to up to the server. Now, here's uh, where you're going to select your connection manager. This is telling us what connection manager you're going to use to send this up to the server. Uh, I already have one. Uh, configured here, uh, but just to show you what you can do is you can create a new SFTP connection and the connection settings will show up. Now here's where you select whether you want a uh, SSH FTP, FTPS which is implicit or FTPES which is uh, explicit and then you can put in your username, your password, what port it's running over and then you also have a, um, a couple of other settings over here. The first one is your default remote directory. Now what this allows you to do here is let's say that for instance you log into your server and you know that your remote directory has pragmatic work so you can put in here and so every time that the connection is made it's going to automatically do a change directory to the pragmatic works remote directory uh, you can use a proxy if you're sitting behind a proxy and you can see here that we support these uh, proxy types uh, but since I already have a connection I'm just going to go ahead and use that um, and again, you can use the remote variable stored in a, uh, or remote path stored in a variable. So you can say whatever path this is stored in up on the server, um, this is the, the variable that you're going to choose here. But we don't, we're not using that. Um, now what we can do here is we can say what directory do we want, we want to upload this to on the server. Now you can click on the ellipsis button here and that's going to bring up the FTP browser and you can uh, select you know, something like this. You can say invalid. Uh, invalid output 2005. Oh, I actually have to go back and select that and then click OK. And you see that it automatically selects that there. Uh, and the last one here is you can overwrite the uh, remote file. I always do this uh, just in case because it will fail if you try to upload it uh, and it already exists. Okay, and so that's how you use the upload file to server. Uh, pretty much um, delete file on servers, um, or I'm sorry not delete file, download file is pretty much the same thing. You're just going to go up here, you're going to select a file. Um, so you can see here that now that we have to get a file from the server, we actually have files here. So you can say, hey, I'm going to grab the STI trace. And then what's going to happen is that your local directory is where you're going to um, store that file. Create directory. You can see that the local directory goes away and then you can say what directory do I want to create on the server and you can say my PW invalid and continuing on delete directory same thing you're just gonna say what directory do you want to delete from the server uh, delete file we've already gone over this but you just select the file that you want to delete so in this case we could say test.txt and we're gonna delete test 
script.txt. Uh, upload directory to server. What this is saying now is that you have to actually select what happens now is in the save, for instance, we're going to do this and we click OK. We should see that this says here um, that, uh, let's see, what's the, oh. The actual error message is saying the local connection manager must have a usage type of create folder or folder exists. So what that's saying is that the local directory here or, or file settings is not an actual directory. So and if we do this, we see now that it's a directory um, because you have to have a directory to, to, to upload to the server. Uh, and that's the same for download directory to the server. It's now going to go get a directory from the server and download it to this directory that you've defined in your local directory. Uh, and finally, the last one is check a file that exists on the server. This goes away. Uh, and a couple of things change here. And the first one is to say, what file are we going to check on the server? And the next one is, what do what's the variable that's going to be used to tell us whether that is up there or not? And I already have one here, but you can click on create new variable and you can create a new variable, uh, variable here um, to um, define whether that, that succeeded or not. So we're going to hit cancel here since I already have one. And what's going to happen is, let's say that you, you're going to have a, it's going to run here, um, and then you're going to be able to use that variable down in your downflow in your task here. Actually, there is one more thing, and that is on the um, download directory from server you have a file filter here and what this allows you to do uh, and again I'm gonna this is a directory so you have to select a directory or leave it blank for the default and then uh, what you can do here is you can um, use the the star logic here to say I only want to download text files or I only want to download files that have 1001 contained in them and it's a text file or it's a dot text file whatever um, and so that that allows you to pull down um, any files that match this this wildcard filter here